Hello, friends. Man, oh man, it's just another rainy day here in the Buckeye State. <clears throat> Seems like every time I get ready to come out the house, it pours the rain. But uh, let me see if you can see it here. Been drizzling the rain all morning. It was beautiful out yesterday, but uh, we're gonna go over them chairs right there here in a little bit. I got something else to show you. I got a, a birthday present back in January. I'm gonna share it with you here in a minute. But first, let's make this a pot of coffee. Seems like a lot of, a lot of coffee. I like a little salt in the coffee. But it's not a whole lot. Get that brewing. I'll pour you a cup of coffee. You want to sit down and take a break with me? See me walking around with the cane there, don't you? I sneezed the other day and pulled a muscle in my hip. <laughs> Let me show you these chairs. I think that coffee's just about ready. I'm gonna pour me a cup. Heck yeah, I am. You know, you can't beat a perk cup of coffee. You see, I switched that cup up. I've had this cup for a long time. And, uh, That cup keeps that coffee hot for a long time as well. But uh, let's take a look at the chairs, go over them, then I'm gonna show you my birthday present I got there. We'll go over this one first. Uh, these chairs got a little story behind them. I was down at a flea market and uh, this first chair right here, I asked the guy, I said, what you, uh, what you want for that chair? And the guy told me, he said, if you'll take it off my hands, you can have it for nothing. So I took it off his hands and I did a little leather work on the seat there. And uh, it was missing a rung in the back, so we carved one out of cedar. Kind of put it on there an old chair. You gotta give me that thing. Now this one right here is a little different story on it. Place I worked at, it was just down a, an old road where for some reason people would bring their trash dump it on the side of the road. I went to work every day for about three or four years and seen that chair. 
every morning and every evening. And one day I stopped and picked it up. And uh, Brenda and I redone it as well. Did a little leather work on the CD. We're in the bottom in the seat there, but uh, I don't know how old they are. I think that one over there is pretty old, and this one here is about half its age, I guess. But uh, I thought they was kind of interesting. And uh, that's the story behind them. But uh, we got an empty corner in the house there, and we're trying to downsize a little bit over there at the home away from home, so we thought we'd bring these to the house. And uh, But we got something else going back in the cabin. I'm fixing to show it to you. Now my daughter, she bought me this for my birthday. This will be going in the cabin a little later on. This is a top loader caboose stove. And uh, let me show you the top of it there. Got a, like a four burner, four plates. See if I can get one of them off. <clears throat> you load the wood in right here. Wood or coal. And uh, we're going to try to work that in the cabin over there. Like I say, uh, Lord willing, I can get out, get over there and do a little bit more work in the cabin. That's for sure. You got your ash pan down here. Where you... Uh, Clean the ashes out. And the stove does have a grate in it. A shaker grate. There's where you control your uh, your airflow. Let me show you here. Open. Close it all. But I thought this was pretty cool. And I'd like to thank my daughter Elizabeth for uh, for thinking of me and getting me the, the stove there. It don't come no more old school than that right there. Well, I'm gonna drink my cup of coffee and sit around in here and uh, probably do nothing the rest of the day. Clean them chairs up. I'll let you take a look at them one more time. There's a little bit of leather work on that one. We did that back when uh, we really wasn't that good with leather work. This was just a bunch of scrap leather that I got someplace, I think at a flea market or a garage sale or someplace, and uh, we added it to the chairs. I'm going to say God bless to you. Thanks always for coming by and watching the video. And we'll catch you in the next one.